What's up, Blender Savages? So today I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, retro wave pyramid. Shouldn't be too challenging. I got one here. Boom, beam shooting out. Looking like um, that pyramid from Vegas. What's it called? The Lexar? 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 I don't know what is, how to pronounce it. All right, so here we go, Blender 2.9. Let me click out of there. Here is my uh, default Blender cube, and I'm gonna use this cube to make this pyramid shape here. All right. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna hit the tab key, take my cube to edit mode, make sure cube is selected, tab key there. I'm gonna drag, select the top vertices there. There we go. And I'm just gonna freehand this. I'm gonna move my mouse. I'm gonna move my mouse away from my cube, but still inside the 3D viewport window. Hit S for scale, then move, move my mouse inward, get it closer, kind of like a pyramid, right there. Uh, you could merge these vertices, Alt M, oops, Alt M, and merge vertices. Sorry, Blender 2.9 is uh, just hit the M key. Previous version was Alt M, but 2.9 is hit the M key. Let's see here, M key, and you can merge them at center. And boom, they become one there. You got yourself a pyramid. But I prefer this shape here for my pyramid. And then later I can bring in a cylinder to have like a beam shooting out of it. All right, so you go. I got my shape, tab, key, back to object mode. There's my pyramid. Now I'm gonna go over here to shading. Shading, boom, shading workspace. Should split my window in half, there we go. So I gotta get the setup here. My shader nodes right here, principal BSCF shader, my basic uh, color that I got right here. Let me go over here to materials, and I'm gonna call this one brick. And I'm gonna call it retro, retro brick, retro, retro brick. There we go. Now I gotta change these right here so that they have the node shaders for my retro uh, grid brick, very Tron like, something like this. And after you make one of these, you can actually just save this file and then you can go back and use these. If you have older versions of, of a Blender, you can actually drag select these, Control C, copy, and then go over to your uh, your other project, Control V to paste, and it'll paste them over. But in 2.9, it doesn't work for some reason. So I'm going to delete this principal BSCF shader right here. I'm just going to click on it one time. There we go. When you first enter here, they're both selected. So you want to individually delete this one here. So select it first and then delete key to delete it. All right, so my uh, my pyramid there changed colors because there's no uh, no color for it. So I'm going to bring in this right here, two mix shaders. So I'm going to hit Shift A, search, and type in mix. Mix shader right there. Bam, connect that to surface. Oops, connect that to surface. And I can just copy this one here, Shift D. -E. And put one over here. There we go. And shader to shader right there. All right. And then what else do I have here? Emission. So that's the emission. That's that glow right there from the uh, the mortar there in the grid. And our bricks there. Shift A. Search. Emission. Emission shader. Click. Click here. And connect that one there. There we go. So I got a mix shader here. So to mix two different materials, two different colors into the material output or whatever I get right here. So emission is going to be the mortar. So let me choose the color for that. So you can go with that off blue color. You can make it green, uh, magenta, whatever color you're going with. So I'm going to go magenta this time. Increase the strength to 20. So you can see it. Nice glow. And then this mix shader here is going to have the uh, the brick texture shader. And that's for that brick pattern right there. So I'm connect over to factor. And then the mix shader is going to have uh, two shaders here. And there's going to be two pencil B two principal BSCF shaders. You can also use um, Diffuse for the colors, but I like uh, principal BSCF because it has all these cool parameters here. You can play around with it. All right, Shift A, search. And now I'm gonna type in brick. I go brick texture, click there, put it there. So color right here. Actually factor, is it color or factor? Color. I'm gonna connect the color to factor that way it divides my color here along the factor for all the different colors from the, see right here, mortar and two colors. I could just use material output and directly connect the surface here to brick texture. And we did just these two colors here and the mortar color. But I want to add an emission glow. I want to make the, uh, the mortar glow. 
and if um, I didn't add these other make shaders and then later two principles DF shaders I wouldn't be able to add the glow the emission right here that I want so that's why I'm doing that and then the UV map here is because I've got a UV map the faces that I have here tab key because the um, the pattern of the bricks it's gonna it's gonna be different it's not gonna be like this it's gonna be a little different so I gotta add the UV map shader in there search UV map or the UV map node drop it in there and I think that one a vector right there purple to purple all right and then I got uh, an invert right here from factor all the way over to displacement shift a search invert there we go drop it right here color to displacement factor over here to factor all right see that's not connected to that independent let me move this out of the way all right and these two colors here are for my uh, my bricks color one color two so you can have alternating colors so one can be um, like a red color the other one can be an off red or like a beige color the other one can be a different off white color but you can also use principal ds principal bscf shaders or diffuse shaders for solid colors for that so i'm going to bring that in shift a search i'm going to go with principal bscf drop one there connect that to the original one right there and uh, let's say for surface color or sorry base color a subsurface i'm just going to make it black it's a black one. Oh, you kind of see the pattern there already see it's a little bit off i'll, I'll show you how to fix that in a bit and i'll make this one black and I can just duplicate this one. Shift D, put it right here. And connect this BSCF shader node right here to this other one down here. There we go. And I can make this one the same color, also black, or I can make it off gray. Oops, sorry, bit, uh, base color right here. May I make a little bit more gray around there? Cool. There we go. Pull this out, pull this out. There we go, I got my node tree set up. So material output, I did not delete that. As soon as you select the material, it should be there. I can see my brick pattern there. It's not in the direction I want it. So then I got to individually uh, UV wrap these faces here. And that's why I got this UV map right here. So I'm gonna select this face here. Oh, let me go over to face selection, face selection. Select this face and right click it. And go down here to UV unwrap and project smart uv project should be smart enough to know what i'm thinking read my mind blender there we go some other patterns in different direction right click this one oops select it you can also hit the u key u for unwrap and smart uv project okay and it's kind of hard to see but the pattern there sound like the same retro brick all right Select this face here, U key, U for umbrella, for UV unwrap, smart UV project. Okay. Select this one here, U key, smart UV project, then okay. I'm going to go over here to the render tab, render YouTube, rendered uh, viewport shader. Let's see what I got here so far. So, so far I got the, uh, the blank, uh, sorry, the pink, the magenta uh, picture here, as in like, what are you doing, bruh? All right, so it's got pink here. So one thing I missed right here, I just gotta connect the brick shader here, the factor. I got also connected to the factor right here to this mix shader, then magic, boom, there we go. All right, so I got my node tree here set up. Let me try to separate these so you can see a little better. So I got material output, which you should always have for using materials. I got a mix shader there, and I got a mix shader over there. This mix shader here has the emission here for the mortar. Then the other uh, factor is connected to the brick texture here. We have the brick pattern. So we can fill down over there. It's all good. Uh, so two colors here are being mixed. The emission there. And then the shader for the other two colors here. So um, one's black, one's is off-white color. But I can try to make that green. But uh, I can also make it black. I'll just make it black. If you use two different colors, then um, these bricks here will be two different colors. Same thing with this right here. It's actually mixing up with this. So one of them is closer to white. The other one is closer to this gray color. So I can also make these black to make them all like a full solid black. It actually mixes those up. So here's a mix shader here. 
It's a factor connected over here to the brake texture pattern. And this UV map right here was for the UV uh, unwrapping that I did earlier so I can get the pattern nice and neat. And the uh, the invert right here is for also for that brick pattern. So we go over here to layout. See what we got. All right, so we switch over back to object mode there. And the render viewport shader. You can also hit the Z key. It's like the top option. Now I'm gonna go over here to render. Render tab in the properties panel, select blue. So you can see the glow. Cool, I can see the glow there. Got the cool pink color. The ambient inclusion, ambient inclusion, just for the heck of it. Increase my quality there. Uh, street rate reflection is not necessary, but I got it there. It's got a glitch where if I don't have it activated, I get all these pixels on my model. Didn't happen right now, but it usually it does. All right. Zero for camera view, looking good right there. And I can just bring in a cylinder and have like a beam shooting out there with that same pink color or a similar pink color. So shift A, mesh over to cylinder. Boom, cylinder humongous. Seven for top view, seven on the number pad, shift Z for wireframe. Cube is still selected. S for scale, move it inward, try to get the size of that uh, top face right there. S for scale, go down a little bit more, and about there. There we go. Cube is out here in the center. SZ, just make it really tall. SZ, pull the mouse away, left click. There we go. GZ. And pull it up right about there. So part of it's inside, the other part is inside. Part inside, small part inside, most of it outside. Zero for camera view. Who is shooting out of the camera view? Shift Z back over to the render viewport shader. And I can just make this um, pink color. So I'm going to go here to the materials uh, button in the properties panel. New. Change the shader here to emission. Click on a surface, principal BSCF shader. Select the emission, and then go down here to color, and just choose a pink magenta color. There we go. And the strength uh, that I used earlier for the other emission was 20. I'll make this one also 20. Enter, and there we go. Let's make the background black. So I'm going to click on world right here on the properties panel. The world tab right here is the color. This is the color of the background. That gray is that gray right there. I'm just going to make it black. Click inside of it, get a color wheel. Value right here all the way down to black. Cool. F12 to render. You got yourself a nice retro wave pyramid. The Egyptian retro pyramid. Loading, loading, loading. There it is. Bam. I got some of that bloom there. It's glowing. Uh, if you don't like this pattern here, you can actually play around with it in the parameters. Let me go back over here. Shading. And right now it's showing me the, the materials uh, shader shaders for my cylinder here so i'm gonna click on the pyramid there we go and i got the parameters there for my pyramid and i can play around the brake texture here so offset if i move it up to one these gonna line up so i want to leave it at uh 25. there we go nice in the middle you can go all the way down to zero they line up again 0.5 so you can play around for with these parameters for big texture. If you like that brain texture, scale, mortar size, scale, maybe want some bigger text. Smaller, uh, sorry, smaller bricks or bigger bricks. Whatever you want. If you uh, don't know what setting you had before, right click it. And then select reset to default values. And oh, that didn't work that time. Some of the parameters doesn't work with well. I'm just going to undo, control Z. So I'll go back to normal. All right, I think that's what it was. Looks good. Mortar size, the thickness of that. Uh, bias, brick width, brick height. You can just play around with the rest of it. But usually I'll leave those alone. Reset these default values. And that didn't work that time. Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Uh, it's good to keep track of those. Remember what they are. Control Z. Uh, sometimes if you right click and select retold, reset to default values, it doesn't always give you the uh, previous result. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a glitch in Blender, but it, won't, it will not give you the original result. Back over to layout. There goes my cool right, my cool uh, pyramid there, similar to the Lexar in Vegas. The Lexar.
All right, so thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Anything helps, leave a comment. Let me know if you think uh, aliens build the pyramids or was it dinosaurs. That's what uh, Johnny Lawrence believes. All right, well, have an awesome day. Take care.